community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Uh, we're going to take a look here at the copper, copper, the red metal. Uh, very, very interesting here. If you'll take a quick look at this, you'll see that we made a beautiful Gartley down here a few weeks ago, and a nice run up to the 61, and it comes right down exactly to the 61. And, of course, we've had the big explosive rally in all metals here the last few days. We're going to cover those in just a moment. But this says that we're most probably looking for an A, B, C, D move up to the upside. Uh, by the way, I misspoke. Um, Al, uh, Stan Harley will be my guest on Monday. He's traveling today, so he will not be able to be with us. But you can see here another 12 cents up in copper. We'll complete it up at the 78% level. But the A, B, C, D will stretch up just a little bit higher than that. But remember that mathematics precedes geometry, and that's what you want to be looking at, okay? Very, very important. Now, we do have a bifurcated market today, as uh, Basil Chapman always says. We've got the Dow Jones is up very slightly, but the um, Dow, the S&P 500 and also the NASDAQ is just absolutely screaming to the upside. I have to show you the picture uh, of the NASDAQ because uh, it, it's, a, it's a really incredible work of art. <laughs> and if you'll give me one second, I will get it up here. And I hope, oh, please tell me that... I know I have it in here. Don't tell me these things. Oh, and here it is right here. Hold on just a second. We have, uh, you'll see here, that's uh, the gold market dock on it. I, anyway, just bear with me here. There it is right here, I believe. Here we go. Now, we have already gone uh, above the, hold on, let me just get this up here. Uh, we are 100 points higher. We've made the big ABCD here at uh, 15,690. We've just completed that. But there's the NASDAQ. It's just been in this uh, tremendous runaway move here the last uh, one, two, three, four days. Uh, please let me in. It's never going to go down type move. So that's where we are. Dow Jones uh, was up a little bit this morning, but about about 150. But now it's not up quite that much. So that's what we're watching right here. But the one that is uh, very, very important from my perspective is the long-term weekly chart of the E-mini S&P. And I want to get this up because, you know, folks, uh, I look at ABCDs. That's uh, what gets me to the promised land some of the time. And I'm happy to say that it's most of the time, but not all the time. There's the ABCD pattern. It measures to 429. Let's try that again, Larry. 4529 uh, or 4530, whatever you want to say. The high today was 4534. I just saw a print at 45.32, so we're still above that number. But uh, this is a very interesting move uh, to the upside. I haven't checked to see what some of the other markets are doing today because I was busy watching things in the foreign currency markets because we've had this tremendous move in foreign currencies that I want to talk about uh, in just a moment. But first, I want to go through uh, a couple others that look uh, really interesting uh, in here. Okay, we'll get this up here. Uh, hold on, I just hit the wrong button again. Layer, hold on just a second. I want to show you now where this is a four hour chart on the and on the e-mini NASDAQ, okay? And as we come up here, you're going to be able to see now we've exceeded the high up here by about uh, 50 points or so. We're up in up into this area right here, but this is a four hour ABCD chart, okay? Now, this is not a three drive because if it were three drive. The drive would be here to be very symmetrical. That would be drive one, drive two, drive three. This is a butterfly pattern. You have an A, B, C, D at a 1.618 or a 1.27 expansion. All this is saying is that we're getting pretty close to some type of a major correction here in the NASDAQ. And it's just a probability, folks. It's not a certainty. There's so many things out there that uh, say that these things could go up for a very long time. And they might. They might still do that. But this is where we are 
right now. The Dow was just a little less than that. Okay, now let's get back to the metals. I wanted to show you here. If you remember here last week, we were talking about the gold market because we were very friendly to the gold and especially to the silver. And we'll sh share you what we've been watching here. This was the platinum, folks. And th there is where we were last week. The ABCD measured right to there. And all this is telling you on these little cycles is that from the high to the low took X number of trading days. And from the high to the low took X number of trading days. You have an ABCD pattern there. And you have perfect harmony and symmetry with the AB equals CD in both price and time. You'll notice that the BC swing was exactly 0.382. We were very bearish at platinum at that time and also gold. Of course, gold got all the way down to 1908. And now it's back up to, it hit 1969 today, folks. That's up uh, $36, uh, $66 from the, uh, from the low at 1902. And that is twice the harmonic number, which is 32. So gold is supposed to correct a little bit, but doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to. But when you see symmetry like that, it's very interesting. We, we had one in coffee the other day. I remember I showed you that coffee doing the same thing. Well, that trade has started to work. Uh, it's not up a lot, but it's up a couple cents, and it's done what we thought it was supposed to do, and that's the, the real key to pay attention to what we're looking at here. Okay, now we want to get up here to the silver market. If you want to see a market that has just done everything, those of you that own these silver rounds that we've been talking about for uh, years, I think we did our first ones and they were trading at 14 or 15 dollars now they're 30 some dollars but uh, look at this now we've gone two dollars an ounce in silver folks in two and a half days that's a monster move that means very overbought up in here but that doesn't mean it can't go up a whole lot more here's where the report came in you see and then they just kept running and running and running and uh, that's nothing you know the only way you get into that is you put a buy stop in close your eyes and pray and uh, fortunately, we had some longs in there uh, that worked out all right. And uh, But we'll, not all of them do, of course, but some of them do. But let's take a look at one other one here uh, that we're watching here, which is in the uh, gold market. I want to get it up here so that we'll be able to see it. Oh, there you are. I got so much on here, folks, that I actually have a little bit too much. Well, because there's so much going on that, I, that I, I just can't get it all done at, at one time. That's the problem. So hold on one second, and we'll get this other one up here. I think this is it. There it is. Okay, here's what we're looking at today. Here is the gold uh, over the last uh, uh, two weeks. I'll get this up here. You'll be able to see it. You'll see uh, we had the nice move to the downside there. We hit that uh, bottom down here at 08. And there was another buy right here. We had another buy right there. And uh, we got out a little too soon, but we took a nice piece of the pie here. And now we're up here near this uh, big 1.618 expansion. The high today was uh, 1969. Uh, the 382 of that whole move from the high from way back at 2060-something came in at 1971. So that's why uh, we sold it at uh, 73 and we're going to see what it's going to do from here. We're going to have to pay a few bills here for TFNN, so stay with us, 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. Okay, folks, I put the chart up of the German DAX because I wanted to walk through this to show you the harmony that we've been watching for the last several days. Uh, watching it unfold. That's the real because we've been doing this ahead of time. Now you notice on this particular move right here, you're looking at a head and shoulders pattern, just absolute classic. So as long as it doesn't get much higher than where it is right now, this is a valid head and shoulders pattern. But let's step it up just a little bit and take a look at how it got here. Okay. Now first, we're, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at this on a 60-minute chart, because there's there's what you're looking at right now. This happens to be a 135 pattern, but it's also the right leg, your shoulder is right there. That last high that we made, that's setting right at where the shoulder would be. Uh, hopefully, I get this thing right. Yeah, there it is, right there. Uh, oh dear, I did something wrong. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Let's uh, not worry about it and figure if we can get it up there. There it is. There's your right shoulder right up in here. So let's follow through and see uh, what the other part of this was. And then I have a, a real treat for you. Uh, it's going to be that, that fact is that was the treat. But uh, the real treat comes up next because we've got something that people have been talking about here for quite a while. And that is the, uh, the British pound. And I want to just bring this up to you. This is a uh, going back uh, 10 years. And as you can see, we'll get this up here. Hold on just one second here. This is the British pound over the last 10 years, and you'll get it up here. You're going to see some incredible harmony, folks. Uh, you'll notice these blue lines that are here. Each one of those is equal. And we got another one coming up here near this 131 level, uh, right here, 131, 132 in the thing. Now, look, when we had this three drive to a bottom pattern, nobody wanted it. And now here we are into this rally. And, folks, this is a definition of a bear market. You can see we've had nothing in the last 10, 12 years. There's nothing but lower highs and lower bottoms. So we want to be getting in to an area where it's going to be uh, really a good sale. This is not a new bull market in the British pound. This is a counter trend rally in a very, very bearish market. Okay, now all I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw this in and show you on just little kicks and giggles the way that I look at it, simple market, back of the envelope math of uh, the British pound. Let's get it up here. And this isn't this isn't a sale 
to say go short here, Bo. This is to say, place, get ready to go short, okay? You're getting ready to complete the ABCD up here. Look at this. This thing has been running for about 15 days straight up. Here we did almost the same thing, and we're right up here near this 130, 132 level. That's going to be equal to the move that we had on the monthly chart, and it's going to be a major ABCD pattern in there at the same time. Now, what we should also do is we should also take a look at you know what, and that is the euro. So let's get the euro up here, and you're going to be able to see that we're really close here in the euro too. And uh, hold on one second. And then what we'll do is we'll wrap it up by taking a look at the U.S. dollar is what we'll do here. Okay, now you'll see here we come out of this level really strong. See, once we cleared this level, this was, a, you know, load the boat time because, you know, you, you come up and you blast out of this level. You, you break that 78% level right here. Once you did that, boom, it, it, we saw that in the U.S. dollar. We'll look at that in just a second, but because the, the euro is 53% of, of the U.S. dollar index. But we're, we're, getting, we're getting ready to complete this. The difference is the way that it's coming out of here is actually stronger than the way that it came out of here. See how it went sideways for a little bit? This didn't go sideways. This is get on board now or be very, very afraid. Now, this was one of the reasons why the gold and silver look so interesting is because when we got down to this level, this is where we were setting at 1908 in the gold market, saying something big was going to happen, and also silver when it got to 22.50. Now it's at uh, uh, 20, almost $25 an ounce, and so that's why we're watching these things move so strongly to the upside, so you've got to be prepared to see you know, where you're going to get in. I'm not going to be selling it right there. What I'll do is I'll wait for the, the market to make its top possibly so we have a quiet inside day. That tells me that at least the, the, the buying of the euro has subsided a little bit. I don't want to stand in front of a freight train. There's no reason to do that. Look at these highs back in here, folks. Each one of those, if you'd have just waited one day to make sure that top was in, you're going to be okay. So all we do now is we wait for an inside day or a high, higher high with a lower close. That'll tell me that that's where we are. We know that the ABCD pattern is here, but that doesn't mean that it's going to go, you know, straight down from here. We don't know that. We're just looking at it from a longer-term time frame. And when you look at the British pound on that monthly chart, the, all it's doing is making a counter-trend rally. And it's been doing that for the last 12 years. You can see there's three very, very distinct ones. These are long-term ones, folks. So that's why you've got to uh, sort of prepare for it. Do they all work? Oh my gosh, no. But some of them they do, and that's the key to what we're trying to do here, is to pick the ones that do work, okay? Now, let's get back here to one other thing that I want to cover here, and that's with the dollar index. And I put it down here somewhere. I know I did. Oh, uh, dollar index is right here. Uh, this is part of it, but I want to show you the the uh, falling away, uh, well, it looks like I can't, uh, boy, this is me and my, okay, here is the dollar index. We're getting very, very close to this level here, folks, which is the magical, well, not magical, but it's a very important 61% retracement. And at that time, you're going to be able to see here, we're going to have a three drive to a bottom pattern at the 61% retracement. We're about 60 pips, 70 pips away. So when you add, factor in what the pound is doing, what the euro is doing, Swiss franc, all the others, Australian dollar, uh, then they're going to be getting close. Does this mean it's going to stop here? This thing could just literally go bonkers to the downside. That's why when you put the buy in, you also put a corresponding stop. But this is the kind of this is remember this is a weekly, folks. This is going to be one that's going to be really interesting to uh, trade with. Okay. So that's why, you know, we're keeping an eye on them. They're not ready yet, but we are keeping an eye on them. Just like we, you know, I looked at coffee for the first time, and actually I, I, I told the folks, this is where you want to be buying coffee. It's up a couple cents today, but it was a perfect ABCD. I showed you on the show here uh, yesterday that was a perfect ABCD pattern, and now it started to move uh, a little bit higher. But everything's moving higher today so, because it's not, you know, every, in fact, like we mentioned, everything is green up there. I mean, like I said, the only two things that are down are heating oil. Oh, natural gas is down just a little bit, too. And then also uh, live cattle. In fact, natural gas is set up for a really great buy here. 
in the next uh, day or two, I think in the next day or two. Looks like a lot of things are coming together on that, but we'll discuss that on tomorrow's show. By the way, tomorrow's show, we will have Norm Winsky of Astro Trends. He will be our guest, and he will give us some really good information uh, like we wanted to have. And uh, remember, the, the big day that uh, uh, Stan was talking about was July the 15th, and that's we're in this zone here where just about anything could happen, and it usually does. But he'll be with us on Monday and take a look at it. And uh, when we get back, I want to talk just a little bit more about the U.S. dollar, and I'll get that chart that I wanted to show you updated here. So bear with me, and we'll see what's going on. Talk to you. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted the chart here of the U.S. dollar index over the last seven trading days, and I wanted to point out something to you that's uh, relatively important to me. Uh, Tom Hugard happens to be a very good friend. Uh, that's the understatement of the year. He's like my son. Anyway, here how is here is how he trades, folks. When the market breaks support like this, he starts pushing and pushing and pushing. As soon as it starts breaking support, breaking support, breaking support, and he just presses and presses and presses. Very, very few people can do that. Uh, he does it in a way that just literally is... It's absolutely scary. Now, Tom is only right 
on about 28% of his trades, and yet he makes more money than any of the traders that I work with, myself included, by multiples because he presses it when it's moving either up or down. And you remember, he's only right about 28% of the time. But stop and think what's happened here in the last few days on this big move. And, you know, there's no limits on foreign exchange. So, you know, he can really press that. And that's exactly, you know, what uh, has been happening and, and what he's been doing. So someday we're going to see something like this in the stock market. And I'm going to be ready for you. And we did okay in the gold market on the way down. We did pretty good on the way down, did pretty good on the way up. And we've got Jeff Hughes on the line. And Jeff was scheduled today. Oh, my gosh. Jeff, my friend, <laughs> I am so messed up over here. Uh, my, my calendar, the problem is, Jeff, I had my calendar on June, and this is July. They tell me that, that <laughs> June is over. Is that correct? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> God. Okay. Well, at least you Why didn't don't... forget about me, right? No, I didn't forget <laughs> about you. I was just I was doing so many things and I I you know, I had so many things happening today with the currency markets and gold and uh you know, the grains and everything that I just literally uh just got busy and I forgot to tell Al it was my fault. So, you think we could start out now and uh do, do you have the charts set up so that uh, Al can see him that you can put him into the room or do I have to do that? Might have to do that. I, uh, I I think I'll be able to. Here's the here's the here. It'll just take me just a. Uh, boy, I'll tell you. I just uh, just one of those days. While you're looking, I can just tell you a couple things yeah. that um, you know we've been looking at. You know, as you know, we published our our newsletter last Saturday, the eighth of July, and it's got uh -huh. a lot of um, you know really great feedback from readers. And one of the things that we've been talking about for a long time is how our expectation was for a recession to begin around the end of the second quarter and, and, you know, start to show its teeth into the back half of the year. And, of course, we're seeing a lot of data right now with strong jobs and, you know, cooling inflation that suggests that, well, you know, where's your recession, Jeff? You're wrong. And, you know, we wanted to give you guys kind of a sneak peek of what we uh, put behind the fold in the, uh, in the report, just, you know, what is driving the markets and the economy right now, why things appear on the surface to be bullish when, in fact, underneath the hood, things are quite a bit different. Wow. I have a, a nice chart up here of the current cycle and the, the strength of it. Well, it's really, it surpassed just about everything, hasn't it? Uh, 2006, yeah, the, 19, the dot com, everything. Wow. This, this comes from Jan Hatzius at Goldman yeah. Sachs, who uh, put this chart together, actually. And it's the path of the Fed funds rate hike cycle versus past cycles. And as you can see, this is the steepest and most significant cycle in the last 40 years. And, you know, what has a lot of people scratching their heads right now is why is employment still 3.6 percent unemployment rate, which is exactly the same as it was when they did their first 25 basis point hike in March of 2022, there's been no impact. And the thing is, monetary policy works with long and variable lags. And, you know, we're just kind of anniversarying the very first set of 75 basis point hikes. And at the end of the day, you know, if we think about the 12 month lag to the impact of the Fed funds rate hike, we're just feeling about 175 basis points of, of hikes at this point. By the end of the year, it's going to be 450 basis points, and a year from today, it's going to be 5.5%. Wow. That's just truly amazing, the amount of money that's out there. Uh, it's got to find a home someplace. They don't stop at my door very often, so I have to wait and see what's going to happen. <laughs> but this is the next one's yeah, interesting. Well, oh. I was going to say, you know, if, if, you, uh, if you were wise enough to uh, – uh, to take that $1,400 check that the government sent everybody and stick it in the S&P 500 when you received it, you would have done pretty well for yourself. Uh, I, bought but, a half, um, I bought a half. Uh, I bought a gold coin. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Bought a gold <laughs> coin. That would have been perfect. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, the, uh, the five trillion that was pumped into the economy didn't all happen on one day. That's the other thing that people don't really realize is that, you know, it takes time for $5 trillion to, to dribble into the economy. And so what we're seeing is really the residual effects of that $5 trillion in, in programs that uh, the government and Congress put into effect between, you know, mid-2020 and late-21 
uh, with the most recent uh, uh, infrastructure bill. And, you know, that infrastructure bill is going to take 10 years to really kind of dribble out into the economy. So one of the reasons that employment remains strong, despite all this monetary tightening, is that you're kind of battling. It's an arm wrestling match between, you know, fiscal stimulus and monetary tightening. Mm hmm. Very, very, very interesting. What about the, you have a neat chart here on insider selling. What are you seeing here? Well, I'm seeing that insiders are start, starting to recognize the uh, implications here in the back half of the year. And, and in fact, this is one cohort of, uh, of traders that you don't want to bet against. They have better information than you do. There's no question about it. And much more timely. And when we see the insider transaction ratio at this level, which is actually the second highest it's been in 15 years uh, and just below the peaks that were achieved in uh, January of 2022. Right now, sales, there's 33 sales by insiders for every buy. That is an extreme. And uh, the point is that, you know, insiders sell for a lot of reasons, but one of them isn't because they expect their stock to go up. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you see this level of selling by insiders because they're starting to see the impact of this monetary tightening cycle and the end of fiscal stimulus starting to kind of come to fruition. And uh, my expectation is that it's going to sink its teeth into the economy in a big way in the back half of the year. Wow, that's a really cool. I, I don't know anything about insider trading. How, let me ask you a question about this because I don't know anything about it. Uh, how do you know an insider is selling? Do they have to report that? They have to report it. Yeah, they have to uh, okay. file form four uh, for options and, uh, and a, a different form for uh, just an outright sale. Mm -hmm. and, and what we're doing is we're basically, um, you know, this is on Barron's. They track this stuff and it's published in Barron's every week. Uh, but, yeah. you know, all these collective sales to buys. I think there was a total of 367,950 or 67,950,000 shares sold and only 11,137,000 shares bought. So that's how they arrive at that uh, ratio. Okay, the next chart is one of my favorites. This is Citicorp. <laughs> and uh, well, I can yeah. tell you stories about this one. <laughs> hey, let's take a break here. Jeff was with us. Alpha Insights. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Back, folks, with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights, and uh, we're going to take a little bit of a gander here of Citicorp. I remember when it was making that high up there, and uh, uh, well, well, I, <laughs> my, my, well I, I knew somebody there, and he told me the stock was worth about ten cents on the dollars. What he said, it's it, that's with the reverse seven. split, too. <laughs> seven cents. <laughs> yeah. I know it's had a pretty, yeah. and it has it's not rallied at all. So, I, I knew somebody there too, and that guy was me. I was uh, in a senior level position in uh, capital markets at the time that this was all going on, and uh, so I remember it quite well, Larry. And and one of the reasons I wanted to kind of show this chart, and I entitled it "Lessons from Citigroup," it's more like warnings from Citigroup. What we saw off of that way they down low. You know, that was the, the tech rec low, you know, the 2002 low. And the market more than doubled off of that low. It was up more than 100%. And a lot of people are saying, well, hey, you know, the s and is up more than 20%. It's a new bull market. Well, gosh, Citigroup more than doubled. And it retraced the Fibonacci 89% of that decline before it stopped in its tracks and reversed and dropped from a 1 for 10 reverse split uh, five hundred and eighty dollars down to seven cents a share before it stopped falling. Now, uh, let me also say this: that um, you know this stock actually never traded at five hundred and eighty dollars a share because the one for ten reverse split was when the stock was trading at five dollars a share or one dollar share. I take it back because the problem was institutions couldn't buy it, and so they had That's to make right. it yeah. you know above five dollars so institutions could could actually buy the stock and, and get it back up, but. You know, one of the things that I really am, am taken aback by, and this is a 33-year chart, and it's a daily chart, is um, you can look at the 200-day moving average in, in red, and it turned up and was trending higher, right? All the things that the bulls are pointing to in the S&P 500 today as being evidence that we're in a new bull market. And I titled my, my newsletter last month, Look, a Bull Market, It Almost Looks Real, right? And that's because it almost does look real. Second waves and B waves are designed to suck everyone back into the market just before the trap door uh, flips open. And I think we're at that point right now where the market is near its, its wave two peak in this particular case, but it's also tracing out a WXY double zigzag. And so, you know, people don't understand that when the music stops, there are no chairs available. The, you know, the market could effectively see the trap door open and the bottom mm -hmm. fall out. And that's our expectation for wave three down. Wow. Well, I agree with you, but you and I are the only two because there's hardly a bear out there anywhere. But it just looks real suspicious to me. This next chart. Don't I know it? One, this next <laughs> chart is the one that has a lot of interest, which is the S&P. Of course, the NASDAQ is, is just totally unconscious. It doesn't ever, ever back off. And I guess it's because of artificial intelligence or whatever they want to say. But uh, this, to me, the, people view this as being bullish. But, you know, of course, I was bearish here before the last run up, too. So, you know, I don't stand in front of the train. To, today's the day I stood in front of it for a little bit. But I was selling the Dow Jones because it was, that, you know, it didn't do anything all day with the NASDAQ up a lot. And, 
uh, the S and P up a lot. They, you know, the Dow Jones is hardly up at all, and so that's the one I was looking to sell. And so far, you know, it's not got a little. It's got some profit, but that's better than being in the S and P or the Nasdaq. Please continue. Didn't mean to interrupt. Go ahead. No worries. Um, you may know that tomorrow they're going to announce the re reweighting of the Nasdaq 100 index. So they're going to rebalance it. Currently, about uh, seven stocks count for 58 percent of the index's weight. And um, a number of those stocks are double digits. I think Microsoft and Apple are over 12% each in that index. And so they're going to cut those back considerably, I think, to about 4.5%. And that's going to have a big impact. Now, the weightings will be released after the close tomorrow, and then the actual rebalancing will take effect on uh, July 24th. So I think between those two dates, you could see a lot of selling of some of these big cap names that are going to put a lot of pressure on the indexes. And that kind of dovetails perfectly with our view of the market, broadly speaking, the S&P 500. We think that that wave Y of that WXY uh, sort of pattern that we've uh, traced out here is coming to a head with today's move higher. Um, as you know, about a month ago, we kind of raised our target to a 45.34, which is a 78.6% retracement of the uh, bear market decline of 2022. And uh, that comes in also at a point where wave Y and wave W are almost perfectly equal. And so, mm -hmm. as you know, when you get those those uh, two two particular uh, you know legs of a of a uh, uh, you know A B C D advance, you look for equal equal uh, swings, right? And that's basically uh -huh. what we're coming up on is an equal swing, and that comes into play at forty five thirteen. The 786 retracements, 4534, uh, and then also at 4525, there's an open chart gap that will be filled. So I think all of those are kind of like a magnet for prices right now. And I could see this sometime between now and, you know, early next week, uh, you know, kind of putting an end to this. And once that occurs, I think you're going to see exactly the same thing happen to the S&P 500 that we saw happen with Citigroup back in 2008. I think the bottom is going to fall out, and I think primary wave three down will carry the market's price down to new bear market lows that are significantly lower than what we saw in October. Our minimum target right now is 26.25 on the S&P 500, and uh, we, we actually had to lower that target. It was previously 27.50, but because the market moved up higher than we originally expected when we came up with that first target, we had to put a 100 and 61.8% extension off of a higher price, and that got us down to 26.25 on the S&P 500 as a minimum target for primary wave three down. Wow, that's really great. Now, uh, tell the folks about the free newsletter that they can get, please, uh, how they can reach it. You bet. You just what? go to uh, hugeinsights.substack.com, and you can uh, sign up to get my uh, monthly newsletter. Uh, we do give you a pretty good preview of the newsletter for free. The next publication is due out on August 5th. Uh, the last publication is also archived, and you can take a look at it. That came out last Saturday. And, again, it's got a lot of good information in it below the fold. And so if you want to upgrade the paid and see the entirety of our, our review of, you know, the first half of the year and where we think things are going and how we're positioning on the market right now, um, I would upgrade the paid. You can do it for as little as $12 a month. I mean, what do you got to lose? Give it a try, right? Um, you can also find out more about our work at our uh, website. That's uh, jwhinvestment.com, or you can follow us on Twitter at alpha underscore insights. We put a lot of nice free content out there as well. That's really great, Jeff. And by the way, folks, uh, he is long certain stocks, too. He's just not totally bearish the market. He's got long positions on because I've watched – I've watched him perform in this market because he buys things that uh, he gets signals on, and uh, you've, that's why you get such a great track record. And you're only right about 30% of the time. But my God, what a return, Jeff! You're doing a great job. I mean, that's well, those are our bear market numbers. <laughs> yeah, well, that's uh, I tell you, you're doing really good when you can do that kind of uh, act, activity on the positive side in a bear market. My God, if it ever does turn down, you'll you'll knock the socks off of it. So. Hey, this, we want to thank you for being our guest today, and I'm sorry it was a little bit late, but I was doing so many things today, it just, uh, I, I had a note written down here and everything, and I had it all messed up, so thanks for calling in, it really well, helps. Always a pleasure. You bet. Jeff Hughes, folks, Alpha Insights. We'll be right back, 877-927-6648.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger Zen, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger Zen, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we've talked enough about the stock market. I'm going to post the charts for the euro and also the British pound. The British pound was up there first. There's the euro. You can see we just got up to the 1.27 expansion here. The problem is that with this really strong move like this, we could easily go higher. All it's telling you here, this market is extremely overbought. And it's also reached the price objectives based on A, B, C, D. So it may not be today, may not be tomorrow, may not be next Monday. But boy, pretty soon in here, we're getting ready for a pretty significant correction, I would think. We've seen it in the British pound. I posted those charts on the monthlies that we're doing exactly the same thing we've done the other three times. This is the fourth time we've done it. We've done it. And that goes back 11 years. So pay attention. The same thing in the British pound. We're just about a point, about a half a point to a point away of a pretty good correction in the British pound. And, you know, we've been bullish these things for a while. But now is the time you want to take back and take a deep breath and say, hmm, how much do I have to risk to see how much higher it's going to go? And that's the whole key. It's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. Don't get trapped in a trade, folks, because you think it's going to go down. Because a big loss destroys the trading soul. And if you have to get back on the horse, learn what you're doing first. Because I've made these mistakes before. But you don't do them second time or third time or fourth time. Wait till... Your time comes, you can understand what's happening in the market, and you're going to be a hell of a lot better off. Because once you can do it, there's no feeling in the world better than knowing you can beat this thing every day. You won't beat it every day, 
but you know that you can beat it every day, and you will beat it more days than it beats you. And that's the whole key to what we're doing here at TFNN. Thank God we have Tommy O'Brien and his uh, my dad you know, giving us this uh, venue to share this information with everybody. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude. Uh, and may God bless. And we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow with Norm Winsky as our guest. <laughs>